I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to get back in your massive baseball memory. Okay, and you know my uh, I'll, I'm gonna refresh your memory. I got called up to the big leagues in 1978 as a Cincinnati Red, mm -hmm. and I came in here and that little team that's on the wall out there, the 1978 Dodgers, I shut them out. You remember that? I remember the little, little day incident. Yeah, I remember that you were not afraid to throw inside. Let's put it that way. Poor Dusty. Yeah. Poor Dusty. He, you know, we're still buddies, and he still we still talk about. Him. Oh, sure. Because I used to come in on him, and I used to tell him, "Why do you look at me and give me that look like a possum?" You know, you're like. Anyway, yeah. anyway anyways, uh, like when I came in here, it was kind of ironic, you know, because I uh, grew up, as you know, in the the L.A. area yeah, here, over sure. in Pomona, and, and I used to. This is a true story. I literally would turn off the. As a kid watching black and white TV in Pomona, I would turn all that stuff off. What, what just turned on, right? Somebody flushed the toilet. I forgot we're in Dodger Stadium. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Anything could have. Anything. <laughs> so, anyways, I turned this t stuff off and I had to listen to Ben do, broadcast the game then. I couldn't take the guys on TV. Oh. I couldn't take it. So, then, so that's when you really sucked me in. All right. And then I went off to high school and did my sports and all that stuff, and then I became. Mm -hmm. Professional, yes. And I got into the Reds organization, and it never dawned on me that someday I would actually, right, be here. Yeah. So what happened after that day that I shut the Dodgers out? What happened the next day? You I, tell me. I got interviewed by Vince Scully the <laughs> next day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that's I, right. Uh, I did the old tape recorder show out here in the dugout. Sure. In fact, I've done several of them because I used to, I used to beat these guys on a regular mm. basis. <laughs> I mean, do you ever know George Culver? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Uh, he's a pitching coach. He lives in Bakersfield. Right, right. And, uh, George was a, a pitcher who would always do us a big favor. He was with Cincinnati, and Dave Bristol was the manager. And George would be in the bullpen, and he would bring a transistor radio into the bullpen. And at night, it would be hard to see if there were two men warming up. It would be hard to see the inside pitcher, but I'd have an idea of the two pitchers, but I wasn't sure in the mm -hmm. dark. And I would say to George, George, is that so-and-so warming up? And he'd take his hat off. And I'd say, that's so-and-so warm. Or if he didn't take the hat off, it would be somebody else. So he was a visiting Cincinnati pitcher who helped a great deal wow. compared to you who came here and rudely shut the out the Dodgers. <laughs> Tommy's still on me about that occasionally when he sees me. Uh, oh, I'm sure. You know. yeah. Well, it's anyway. good to see you, Mike, after all these You've years. made my entire baseball career. <laughs> no. Don't laugh no. now because this is a this is a major thing for us here today. So anyway, I just wanted to come by and say hi to well, you. I'm, Wish, I'm glad you, know, you did. I come once a year, you know, yeah, well, basically. Yeah. Good. Well, and, any, uh, any day is fine. Yeah. I know, but you know, I I'm, we're country guys, man. We live yeah. in the Adam and I. We live in the Orange Groves, and we start getting around all these cars and all these people. <laughs> well, I, yeah, start, I can understand. We start getting a little nervous. You mean there aren't cars in the yeah, Orange we drove, Groves? You know, I pitched else. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, we drove. Uh, we have cars oh, and stuff you know, it, where we live too. But you know, uh, and in fact, I pitched here many times, and mm -hmm. I still yeah. have a problem getting in here. I think we drove around the parking lot, you know, three or four times before we figured out how to. Well, if you come early enough, there's no problem getting in. The big problem is getting out with 50,000 people, which is the same problem in any yeah. public gathering place throughout so, the world. But you know? I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran on that thing. Yeah. We will leave. Well, bless your heart, Mike. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Adam, nice to see you. Nice Roy, to see you. Pleasure. Pleasure.